Hello, and welcome to The Boss Tootie Show. My name is Boss Tootie, and I've been going through a lot lately, you know what I'm saying? And I couldn't even get out of my bed this morning because I was so depressed, you know what I'm saying? I have everything that I want in life. He's a fan. I have a beautiful wife. I have a beautiful home. I have kids, grandchildren. I have five degrees. And I'm working on my sixth degree. And I have a good job. But one thing that I'm lacking is the love from my mother. My mother has really hurt me so freaking bad. I have done everything I knew what to do to accommodate my mother. But what I don't understand is that she will not accept me for who I am. As a woman, something. But she wants me to accept her, and her life changes. My mother and my dad was married for almost thirty years, and I was the first that was in the home with her and my stepdad. For four years. And then here come my brother. And it was me and my brother for years. And so. My mother allowed me. To cross dress. And do all of this. Get my hair done when I was coming up. You know I was molested. At the age of four. By my cousin Jojo. And then I was molested by other family members and then I was molested by you know my mother friend which was a drag queen <laughs> and so my mother had moved us from a small town to another small town where I can grow you know what I'm saying and become who I want to become <laughs> and so as I was growing up you know what I'm saying you know I didn't finish high school at that time, but I later went on, you know what I'm saying? I had dropped out in the 12th grade, and I went back, you know what I'm saying, and got my diploma. And then I went on to college, you know what I'm saying? I've been married four times, trying to give my mother the life that she wanted from for me. I've been in the ministry. I've done everything I know it to do to accommodate my mother, but instead, she hurt me to the fucking core. Her and my dad both hurt me to the core. You know what I'm saying? My mother had me carrying another man's name for 28 years, and she knew he wasn't my daddy. That's why I got my name changed. She told me when I was 26 years old that the man that I had his name was not my daddy. And that hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Everything I knew that my mother had taught me was a lie. You know what I'm saying? It was a lie. I have done all my mother's dirty work for her. I've done it. He's a fan. And what hurts the most is that she carried on a, a, a relationship with another man that was married to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm. And my dad did too. And that affected me. I was already going through it. You know what I'm saying? That I was molested. You know, at an early age, and then I was going through identity crisis, 
I was going through so many, so much stuff coming up. My mother to this day would not accept me for who I am. But she would not accept the fact that she's sleeping with somebody else's husband that is not hers and she's in the ministry. This is one of the reasons why I don't go to church. I don't deal with Christian people. You know what I'm saying? Because of the hypocrites and the stuff that I was taught. You know what I'm saying? One thing that my mother taught me was no matter what you go through in life, you continue to have a level head and be strong-minded. And that is what she taught me. But the lies, the secrets, and all that that they carry for so long has really impacted my life. You know what I'm saying? And she would not accept the fact that I am a transsexual. I'm a beautiful woman. You see know what I'm saying? But she created me. She started me dressing this way. You see know what I'm saying? She can accept that. And I don't understand. How could you sit there. As a mother. And you disown me. For who I am. And this all my children and my grandbabies. But you can sit there and you can raise somebody else's kids that are not yours. But you cannot care, care on a relationship with your own children. It hurts. Every time I try to talk to my mother and tell her her downfalls or what she has done to me, she don't want to talk about it. Or she'll hang up in my face. Or tell me, oh, the Lord said this, the Lord said that. But the Lord didn't tell you that you're sleeping with somebody else's husband and it's not yours. Right. Hmm. Her and my daddy got a divorce. My daddy uh, married his lover and she married her lover. You see what I'm saying? And it affected me. You see what I'm saying? Because I was the first in the house. I was the first that was there when they first got together in 1981 or 82. Right. It was in 81. No, it's 82. I was eight months old. And it really hurts. It really hurts me how my mother have done me. But for you to be in the ministry and you are continually hurting me. The Bible says that where there is confusion, you need to pluck it. And you need to get it right with your own kids. Before you try to get up and minister to anybody. And you have not made peace with me. You have not apologized to me for everything that you have done to me. And for you to sit there and tell me that another man is not my dad that I have been carrying his name that hurts me to the core it hurts me but as of this day I have cut my mother loose I don't even know her anymore I don't and I would never speak of her again and I told my mother if something to happen to me today I don't want her at my funeral. And I meant that from the bottom of my heart. I got married November the 10th, 2012. My mother's supposed to have been in my wedding. But instead, by we didn't like her husband. And we didn't want her husband to marry us. Me and my wife. Her husband wouldn't allow her to come to my wedding. They sat out in the park a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because he was scared of my dad. My dad raised me with my mother. He was there. In spite of what he had going on, he was there. And I know that you're watching this video, and I want to say thank you. And one thing I can truly say, Mama, I made it without you, darling. Right. I have accomplished lifetime goals without you. Even though you hurt me, you done this and that to me, but guess what? I'm still 
motherfucking standard, baby. And you can never take that from me. You don't have to never accept me for who I am. But I thank God that he gave me breath. He gave me a life. And that I could raise my children. And accept the fact of what they choose to be. No matter what. And I want to say thank you for everything you have done to me. Everything you have said to me. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I mean, it hurts so bad because, you know, I love my mother. I love my mother with all my heart. And to see that she cannot have a relationship with me, you know what I'm saying, because of who I am as a person, it hurts. A lot of you may think this is funny or whatever. It's not funny, baby, because, because this is life. This is real life shit, you know what I'm saying? How y'all sit there and y'all carry on all these fucking secrets, not knowing who life you're going to affect. It hurts. It hurts. When you've been thinking all these years that your mother and father are perfect and come to find out that everything that they have said to you, done to you, were lies. And it took me to leave a small country town and go and see life for what it is. And to bloom out into the woman that I am today. And I want to say thank you, thank you, and thank you for everything, baby, that you have done to me. And I have made it. I have made it. And I want to thank you all for following me and for choosing to watch my shows each and every day. I want to say thank you. But I'm moving on. And I want to let my mother know that I love her. But I don't want nothing else to do with her. I'm done. You don't have to never accept me. Because the greatest experience is loving yourself and accepting yourself for who you are. And that is what I had to do. I can't allow you to hurt me anymore. So I'm putting this in God's hand allowing God to be in control and you be blessed all right good day